and your intentions and whatever it is you're working on confront the weakness that you have now we all have a weakness we all have weakness in different areas or different parts of our lives but when you know where your weakness is when you've discovered what is holding you back you discovered that weakness within you which we all have it no one is alone in this so when you confront the weakness you meet it head on ah. hold on okay you meet it head on and when i do this and i'm going to show a little bit of a demonstration here what we can do but when you confront your weakness whatever it might be it could be maybe you have a weakness on your intentions you have a weakness in following through on what's intended that you want to intend to do maybe you have a weakness for that but when you do and you follow through and you know what your weakness is you'll win every time so when you know what your weakness is and again like i said in the beginning we all have weaknesses and it could be you have a weakness using your imagination you could be you have a weakness following through on your intentions it could be you have a weakness in getting started on something it could be you have a weakness with limiting beliefs that are still holding you back whatever it is changes are happening all around you in your life in everything you hit in everything around you changes are happening now changes can be good and they can be bad it's how you react to what's happening around you and in your lifestyle and in your life that will make the biggest difference so knowing that changes are good and changes are bad it's a realization that okay this happened today and this was not good for me it wasn't good for my business it wasn't good for my family so instead of wallowing in that change and wallowing in what happened you're gonna take the step and say you know what that wasn't great that wasn't good but you know what I know it happened I'm going to acknowledge that and now I'm going to let it go because I have the power within me to make the changes I need to see myself in the other light. So align yourself with what it is you desire. When you are in alignment with what you desire, which means you believe you can have it, you have no blocks stopping you from getting it, you have nothing getting in your way except for yourself. So what you want in life that you're not getting or what you want that is stopping it could be like an allergy I use that loosely because it could be like an allergy when you're allergic to something that part of your brain that knows okay if for me example I have this sneezing thing with pine and I have this sneezing thing with bluegrass and there's certain pollens that I will start sneezing when the the plants start blooming in the spring and all through the summer you'll see I'm always on here sneezing it's because of allergies well we have allergies when it's against a desire or something we want that is blocking us now when I know that things are blooming and I know they're happening and I know when I start sneezing I know what it is and yet I acknowledge it but I know it's happening and I know it's going to keep happening so when you have to get past that and this is the hardest part ever to get past it if it's something that your body is actually allergic to for whatever reason then it's harder but when it is your psyche when it is your conscious your subconscious make friends with your conscious mind take control of it when you take control of your conscious mind you have more control of your subconscious mind so it's like an allergy but it blocks us from getting where we want to go it blocks us in a way that maybe we don't quite understand and that is that's a given it's going to happen so anytime you're doing something new a lot of times your your conscious mind will say i'm going to try this but i don't know if it's going to work 
Right there, you've stopped what you wanted to do. Your conscious mind from your thought, your conscious thought has stopped you from going further. It stopped you from progressing. So we all need to react to our thoughts and emotion. We all have thoughts, we all have emotions, and we react to them. It's how we react to them that is the biggest either benefit or downfall of what we're doing. If you react to all of your thoughts and emotions with a negative format or a negative mind, then you're going to get a negative response back. So be committed to what it is you want to do. You want to grow something. You want to do, whether it be, um, let me think here and give me some examples here. It could be you want to be a better relationship. You want a relationship with someone that you maybe is in a distance or maybe you just want to have a relationship with someone. If that's holding you back, then that is where you're out of alignment. You are not seeing yourself being able to do that. Could be you want to have a profitable business and you're not getting that. You're not making the money you want. That is a block that's stopping you. It's there. You can have it. It's just stopping you because you have something in the way. And when you know that you're weak, it is a weakness because it is a, a limit that you give yourself that you're not taking away, that you are just fueling more and more by not allowing yourself to have it. So what you're creating and what you're committed to are different in every respect of the way. So you can get rid of all of these things. You can do everything to be committed to creating the life you want and creating when you want it to happen. You want to start creating it. You want to have the intention of, yes, this is happening for me. I am doing this today. Now, if it unfolds today, fantastic. It may take a while. It just depends on where you're at. So there's different changes and different things you can do to unlock the weaknesses that you have. We all have them. You are not alone. So you can use tapping along with affirmations. And if you've heard of tapping or if you know how to do it, then by all means, keep doing it. It will work. You can use meditation to clear your mind and to keep you focused and to connect you with source which I definitely suggest that every single day. Limiting beliefs, remove them. They're not helping you at all. They're holding you back and you can release them. Also, you can do that through Ho'opopono. When you can use Ho'opopono, which is an ancient Hawaiian cleaning method that has been around forever, um, to clean up memories, to clean up blocks. And that is an easy step to do also. Any one of these four steps I can help you with. Let me know. I would be more than happy to help you. Whether you're clearing the blocks for a relationship. You're clearing the blocks to bring in. Maybe you need $50,000 a month coming in. You know, whether it be you're, kind of, you're wanting to get your business growing. You want to get more people coming to you without paying a boatload in ads. You know, whatever it is. There is this way, and it is not hard to do. It is that simple. Because it works like an allergy. It's something that you tend to, your body tends to think it's allergic to success. If you cap out, say for example, I'm going to use a low number here. Say for example, a person is out there and they are used to making $30,000 a year. Well, they can't make over that $30,000 a year because they've capped themselves off at that amount. And you'll find that if you cap yourself off at that amount, no matter how hard you work, no matter how much more you give, no matter how much more you do, you won't get past that cap. But when you get past the cap that you have installed in yourself, then by all means, it just keeps growing and growing and growing. And then you'll find, I've had so many people say, well, before I couldn't make it past 30,000. Now I'm at 60. Now I'm going for 90. Now I'm going for 150. Whatever it is, if you have to, take baby steps. It's all good and it all works. 
But to make money in your home business, to do what you're doing, if you have something that is stopping you, if you have a block, if you have a cap on yourself, on what your success, maybe you're learning every course out there that you buy, but you're not getting the success. You could have a cap. You could have a block up there saying, well, I'm learning this, but that's not working. I'm not getting anywhere. I'm not doing anything. I'm doing everything you say, Christy, but it's not working. Then you have something in the way. You're not aligned with what you want. Like I said, there's, there's four steps here that I, I use myself and I know for positive work. It's you can use tapping plus an affirmation to clear your mind, clear your heart, clear all these blocks that you have in yourself. Meditate, which I definitely suggest you do every single day, regardless. Do it two or three times a day if you have to. Stay in alignment. Limiting beliefs, get them removed, remove them. You don't need them. They're not doing anything but holding you back. And Ho'oponopono to clear your subconscious, your conscious, your memories that are not doing any good for you. They can be memories you've held on to for other lifetimes. And that's a whole other broadcast. But in all of that, you'll find there is so much more there for you. Grow and learn and keep moving forward. Whether it be relationship, whether it be income, whether it be growing your business. Get your courses. Learn your courses. There's a course for everything out there today. There's an app for everything out there today. Use the tools that are at your disposal and move and grow forward. Okay? I have a training for you up here that will help. And again, if you need help with any of the four training techniques that I've given you, let me know. Okay, guys. Chat with you later.